Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome to the We All Juggle Knives channel. So we've got a lot of heavy rain here right now. So I figured I'd bust out an indoor review. All right, I've got some lighters for you. This is my Soto torch. I've got two of them. I find these extremely useful. Now I've shown these in a few videos before, but I've never shown you how it works the internals. See that? Stays lit sometimes. Okay, but what about the fuel? You see this one? This one's almost empty. In fact, it is empty. All right, so that one's empty. You pull this top off, it just pulls off like that. And what is in here? Hold on. Oh, it's a little, there we go. There's a little lighter in here. That's your fuel source, a little lighter. Now this use, these uh, use Scripto lighters. Uh, for example, I got this on Amazon. Uh, I've used a bunch of them. Yeah, I'll include a link to this and a link to this, of course. All right, so let's just replace, let's replace the fuel. I'll show you how that goes. All right, so that lighter, it just fits into the head like this, right? And then that fits into it like this, right? Hold on. That's pretty cool, huh? So yeah, this has all kinds of uses, especially if you need to melt paracord. So I definitely recommend these Soto torches. All right, now speaking of paracord, I'm gonna give you a tip to save you some money. Okay, here's my paracord. Here's my paracord. It's a thousand feet of paracord. So if you buy in bulk, I did some calculations and basically I'm saving about 25% by buying this uh, large roll. In other words, I'm getting about 250 feet of paracord essentially for free versus if I bought uh, four smaller rolls of the exact same paracord. So if you're a prepper, you might wanna save yourself some money by purchasing in bulk, right? You're always going to find uses for paracord. Now, this is sold by Paracord Planet, but they sell on Amazon, right? So I just bought this from Paracord Planet on Amazon. All right, they have all different colors. I'll include a link to that. I'm trying to save you guys some money in these hard times. All right, and while we'll talk about lighters, I have another lighter. This is more of a novelty. You see that? It lights up and it has colored flame. I mean, that's pretty cool. Hold on. Let's see that. By law, they cannot, they cannot ship this full of fuel. So you're gonna have to fill it. That valve right there is the filling, you know, where you fill it. You're gonna need, you can buy this at like hardware stores, home improvement stores. It's got a nozzle. That's a pressure valve. And it comes with instructions. So if you're not sure how to do that, just read the instructions. But basically, you're gonna need some butane and then you can make this work. All right, but this has one more trick up its sleeve. Hold on, check this out. What's that? What the hell? Yeah, this thing is, uh, it counts as an automatic. Okay, so check into the local laws in your area. It's really more of a novelty though because it's, it's not sharp at all. Like not at all, dude. And uh, I don't know what steel that is, but it's probably not cutlery grade steel, okay? So that part is really just a novelty. You could sharpen it up, but it might not hold that edge. But I just use it as a lighter, okay? It's good as a butane lighter, so that's just, uh, yeah, it, it is what it is, man. It ain't no, it ain't no microtech, that's for sure. 
All right, and while I'm here, one more thing. Speaking of autos, the heck is this? All right, you see that switch there? Eh? Okay, here's a little closer look at, at the uh, action. It's a double action OTF, but this one is very cheap. These are very cheap. I have to say, this thing has already broken like five times. So it's a cool little thing, but it's certainly, it's gonna break, okay? Uh, I have repaired it five times. The thing about these, when you take them apart, there's a lot of small springs, like tiny little springs. And if you lose one of those springs, which is very easy to do, then forget it. You're not, it's not gonna work without the tiny little springs. I had to look up the blueprints on the internet and take it apart and repair it. But yeah, it's a cool novelty, but I have to warn you, if you buy one of these cheapos, it, it's gonna break eventually, right? But it's still pretty cool. All right, YouTube, so I hope you enjoyed this video. As I said, having some, some rough and rainy weather today, but I figured I'd bust out a quick video, show you some useful items, connect with my audience. I hope you're all staying happy and healthy. This has been We All Juggle Knives. I'm out.